Hello CFTT heirs and greater fitness community. It's Michael from CrossFit Downtown Atlanta bringing you the workout of the day for Thursday, May 21st. It's called Space Force. Can't help but think of G.I. Joe, the classic G.I. Joe when I hear that. But anyhow, uh, it's three rounds for time of an 800 meter run, 60 double unders or 48 jumping jacks, 40 odd object swings. Uh, if you have a kettlebell, we recommend that. And 20 uh, jumping squats. 30 minute time cap, let's take a look at these. So, first is the run. Again, I'm talking about forefoot striking versus heel striking. Just start looking up videos on that. Again, you're here, there, and as you land, the muscles take the impact, not your heel when you do a, when you do a, a heel strike. So try to get away from the heel strike method of running. If you don't have a place to run or safe place to run, uh, 600 toe taps. Toe taps, as we have discussed, are just here. Get the soccer drill, just keep tapping your object 600 times or four minutes and 30 seconds. We're cut you off there. Next movement, the double under, is when the rope passes under your feet twice every time you jump. A couple of things I always say whenever you're starting the double under, make sure that the rope is behind your knees, not down at your feet like so. It's a good way to get it caught on the heel and then it just falls around. Right Big breath in, blow it out, then start. That's our double under. Our modification or al uh, alternative to that, if you can't jump in your apartment, hard, or wherever you are, is just the jumping jack. Heels under your hips, hands by your side. And two, three, and so. All right, next movement we've got uh, odd object swing. We'll start with the kettlebell. So we always go American here, but we want them to be done properly. Remember, the American kettlebell swing is not a straight arm the entire way. It's straight until you get to about here and allow your arm to bend as the bell keeps going up and punch. If you go straight, straight arm the entire way, it just grinds your shoulder and it's no good. So right here, I'm gonna start with the bell in front of me, raise back at my heels, I'm gonna pull that bell into my uh, hip crease, then pop and punch. Pop and punch. Bell swing is uh, bottoms up. Nice straight line of action from the top of the bell to the bottom of my feet. From the front, and nice full extension with every lift. Backpack or odd object. If your odd object has a solid handle, briefcase, or something that's fixed. You're going to want to go upside down with it as well. If you have a dumbbell, and you don't have one of those fancy handles you can attach to it, just grab the head and try to hang on to that. Do the same kind of thing where you are allowing your arms to bend on the way up so you can then push up overhead. With a backpack, it's got straps. You don't want to flip it upside down because it'll just keep going. What you want instead is tight straps, keep it in, and then punch it up. Punch your head through your arms, but try to keep that backpack vertical. Next movement is the jumping squats. We're familiar with the air squats. This is just adding to that. You're gonna drop a little parallel, come up, and you're gonna leave the ground. So, hip, hip, uh, heels just outside your hips, about 30 degrees out, and you squat. Push your knees out in the same direction your toes are pointing, and then leave the ground like so. All right, those are our movements for Space Force. Uh, workout of the day for Thursday, May 21st. Enjoy the workout, have fun, be safe, share this with your friends. All right, and I'll see you soon.